Hi guys, welcome back. I am really excited to share today's video. I am going over my plans for my gala gown. So I wanted to film this from beginning to end, the whole process of me making this gown, especially because this is the kind of thing I don't make every day. I make mostly practical clothes, um, really basics, and I'm going to be going all out on this gown. So hello and welcome or welcome back to Soap and Mona. I'm Rebecca, I'm so glad you're here. Um, today we are going over my gala gown. I wanted to start out this episode by um, sharing my ideas, um, my supplies, and then I'll come back next week and show the next step in the process. So this all started out because my sister invited me to her, uh, her photography workshop. Uh, Bob Khan that's going to be in mid-January. Um, I work for one of her companies. I do lift off leads, which is SEO based. And so I work for one of her companies. So she invited me to go to this gala. I'm really excited to sew this kind of thing. It's not the kind of thing I make very often. So I'm going all out with my planning. I'm really excited for this event. It's going to be a full weekend in Orlando. Um, there's gonna be some great speakers there. I'm not a photographer, but I'm really excited for these workshops. Donald Miller and Denise Dunfield Thomas are both going to be there. I watched it, I listened to Denise's podcast every week, so I'm really excited for these speakers. Going to start out with the 10K gala event on Friday. Um, so I'm really excited to make this look. Making a really extensive make like this, I need a lot of planning time. I'm planning, I, I've already got my fabric and I've got my supplies, but I started about a month ago. So I like to gather all my inspiration first, which I'm gonna show you my Pinterest board right now. So I will gather my ideas uh, until I get like a really good idea of what I'm looking to sew. And then I happen to find this pattern. Um, this is a 1950s pattern from Jacquem. Uh, tell me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, this I got from the Vintage Pattern Shop. I'm gonna put a picture of the pattern up. And I was really excited because it's in exactly my size. It's a size 16 with a bust of 36. And this is a reproduction pattern, so um, I don't have to worry about cutting up a really good pattern. So I love the look of this bodice. It's a very fitted bodice with a big skirt. And um, I really like the pleating detail at the bust and that it has straps. So I think this is gonna be really comfortable and look beautiful. So this is a Vogue Paris original and it's from 1956. And what's really great, I'm gonna show you the pattern. I had to hold myself back and wait to cut this out. So the way this comes is she gives you this little booklet which has all the printed out information from the pattern. So this should be really easy to follow along and make. And, um, and I do love how this is printed out. So the pattern is printed on just like this um, nice heavyweight pattern. It's kind of like craft paper. And just the whole pattern is, there are two sheets. So two huge sheets. So this should be really easy to cut out. And what was great with this paper is I could really estimate my yardage really accurately because I can see the full pieces laid out and about what width I need. I've got my pattern. Um, I started out looking at fabrics. I ordered some samples from New York Designer Fabrics, which were gorgeous. And 
I wasn't sure at first what I wanted to make, so I got a bunch of different fabrics. I really love this, um, these silk ombre ones. I am thinking about something with this in the future. Especially, this one was my favorite, but then when I priced these out, the amount of yardage I need, this is way over my budget. So maybe in the future, I will use one of these, um, but I couldn't really justify um, for an event. It's not my nomination, I'm just going to this event. So I didn't want to spend hundreds of, on a, I didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars on fabric. So I found a substitute. I'm gonna show you this. I love periwinkle. I was saying to myself all year that I wanted, if I found something gorgeous in periwinkle, I was ordering it. And so I found this fabric from Blackbird Fabrics and it's a poly, but it's a poly blend, but it's beautiful and drapey and I just love this color. And I was a little worried, what if it comes out too light blue? I don't wanna look um, princessy. So I'm really excited about this color. I think it's gonna look really good on me. And um, I got plenty of yardage. So I think, let me find my order slip. Ah, it's on here. Okay, so this is a buttery poly satin. 100% polyester, it's 50 inches wide. It's in the color Periwinkle Dew. I bought six and a half meters. I wanted to make sure I had enough fabric for that full skirt. And I figured better to err on the side, uh, buy a little more than worry about running out. So I think this is gonna be beautiful. And while it's not um, the silk and satin I was looking at originally, uh, this is going to be very comfortable and easy to care for, and I won't have to worry about dry cleaning. So I have six and a half yards of that, and then I ordered the matching um, thread. This is Guterman Sew All Thread. I got five of these, and it's color 933. 933. So this is a really nice match. So now I'll have thread that matches perfectly, and I've got plenty to work with. I didn't want to run out of thread. And then I ordered all my underlining supplies. So I haven't even, I just made sure everything was here, but I haven't really looked at everything much. So I got Dusty Blue Recycled Polyester Petersham. I got two yards of this. This is for the inner waistband, which this is very pretty and a really great match. Um, I got two invisible zippers because I wasn't sure what color I'd want. So I got a pastel blue and an icy gray. And I think the icy gray is gonna be a great match. And then I was lucky enough, I found um, Periwinkle Plain Dyed Polyester Taffeta. So while it's not a perfect match, this is for the underskirt. And I think this is gonna have just enough structure to give this a nice drape. This is for the, um, the, what's it called? This is for the taffeta underskirt under the dress. So I think this is gonna work perfectly. It's got a nice um, hand. And I think the color is going to be perfect. I wanted it matched just enough so that if a bit peeks out of the bottom, I don't have to worry about the color being off. And then I got, I got three inch black soft horsehair because I needed horsehair for the border of the skirt and um, they were out of the size I wanted in white, but I was like, this is going to be underneath. No one's gonna see it. So I went with the black. And I think once it's, um, it's pretty thin, I don't think that's gonna matter. And then I also um, ordered a bunch of muslin uh, because I'm almost out and Mood always has good prices on muslin. So I got, um, these are each five yards of unbleached 44 inch cotton muslin. I bought two packs because I use this all the time. I tend to buy it every time I order my stuff from Mood just so that I have muslin around to play around with.
All right, so that is all my supplies. And then let me read this off. So this is a one piece dress. This is Vogue 1343. Long full skirt with concentrated back fullness from released pleats joins the bodice at waistline. Crossed over pleats released from the front midriff. Low front V-neck, low front neckline, deep V in back. And this is a size 16, which is a bust 36. And then they give all the yardage. I don't need, um, they're saying uh, almost six yards if it's 44 inches, but my fabric is a little wider, so I'll have plenty. And then for the underskirt and under bodice, it suggests 10 and an eighth, but that's 39 inch taffeta and my taffeta is full size. And then it suggests um, three inch horsehair braid for the hem of skirt and three inch horsehair braid for the underskirt. And three fourths inch gross grain belting for the inside belt, one yard of one quarter inch elastic, which I always have on hand, and a 12 inch neck type zipper. Um, I just got the extra long zipper. I can just trim it to whatever length. And the length of dress at center back from Natural neckline will be 62 inches. So I am definitely going to make a bodice of this. I'll probably just, I'll definitely make a muslin of this. I'll probably just make the twill of the bodice and then maybe the top border of the skirt just to see how it's fitting. Um, I can measure out the length. I'm not too worried about that. I just wanna make sure that uh, bodice fits perfectly. Truthfully, this looks very straightforward to sew. Um, there's nothing very complicated. I am gonna remeasure myself for this. Here you can see all the layers it's going to have on the underskirt. But I am really excited to make this gown. I mean, I wore a cocktail dress to my wedding. I got married on the beach. So I did not even have a gown that elaborate for my wedding. So. Um, I'm really excited to make something like this and I've never done that before. So um, come back next week. I should have the toile done by then and I'll share that with you here. All right, uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy sewing.